and their pairing together. Now women's singles, Bei Wen Tang of the United States third seed takes on Pichaman Opatniput of Thailand in the women's singles. This is the bracket. We have two ties here. Actually, we've got three ties if you count Tatsu Ying from uh, Chinese Taipei, just having a bit of fun there. But uh, she is the top seed. Uh, we'll see her later on. Uh, Pitchamon has a lot of work to do here against the third seeded Bei Wen Tang of the United States. It's been uh, a good atmosphere at the uh, Tianmu Arena here at the University of Taipei. We have our officials uh, coming in. And they'll be disappointed that they didn't see fellow Chinese Taipei players get through, but now an opportunity just to be neutral in this one. Let's see the reception they give to these two players. But there is Chinese Taipei representation in pretty much every other match today. There's Bei Wen Chang. And then we have Pichanon, her Thai opponent. Interesting story for Bei Wen Tang, who was born in China, moved to Singapore at the age of 13, 2003, played with the national team until 2012, and then lost a contract with the Singapore Badminton Association, and then moved over to the America. America. First meeting between these two players. Find out a little bit about these two then. Started with Bei Wen Chang, as I said, born in China, moved to Singapore, competed for them, and then changed to the United States. 15th in the world, highest rankings actually been ninth. That was achieved six years ago when she was then competing for the US. Moved there in 2013 to Las Vegas, where she lives. Uh, as you can see, very, very Good win so far for Tiffany Ho, Chin Pin Chian, and Putri Kusumawardani in the quarterfinals. Has not dropped a game yet. And Pichamon is just 16 years old. From the north of Thailand in Chiang Mai. Her highest ranking is only a bit above this. This is a few weeks ago, 50th in the world. She was part of the Uber Cup team that won a bronze medal stunningly in uh, Bangkok last year. Sea Games, she's won golds in the women's team event in 2021 and 2023. She's never won in the World Tour. But look at this, she's had to play Chinese Taipei players all the way through. She's had some tough matches. She's dropped games along the way. Uh, it's an incredible achievement just to get here. On the International Challenge Series, she's won three titles all last year. Swedish Open, Denmark Masters and the Bahrain International. You compare that with uh, Bei Wen Tung, who's won the India Open. That was a Super 500. She'd be PV Sindhu in the final in 2018. She's had three runners-up finishes. Chen Ching Chu is the umpire. Liu Yu Xuan is the service judge.
ready to play. So really, this is a bit of a David and Goliath clash for uh, Pichamon, who's up against it, but just never know. This is as big as it's ever got for Pichamon in her career at just 16. She's only 16 and a half right now, so not, not like she's turning 17 anytime soon. But already, pretty much a top Ladies 50 player. Ladies and gentlemen, have arrived, Bei Wen Chang, USA. Bei Wen Chang got to the All Your Masters runners up this year. On the left, Kichamo Octaniku, Thailand. Bei Wen Chang to serve, Lobo, play. Confident start for the teenager. Who's half the age of her opponent, by the way. Now you just look at Pichamon's record. She's never reached a BWF World Tour semi final. Her career is obviously very, very short. But overall, in She's reached five semi-finals previously. International challenge and series level. And this is excellent. Some delightful drop shots played by Pichamon. Really delicately done. First point of the board for Pei Wan Tang. Three. She's won three of her five semi-finals. The only one she's had this year was at the Thailand International Challenge. Pitch them on. Service over. Her tournament. She lost the semi-finals to one. Vietnam's Win Tui Lin. Well, this Pitch has a delightful start here. Played very late. Again, again, she's been excellent near the net. Five, Tung Bei Wen was, one. well, Bei Wen Tung was really up against it here, right from the start, off the serve. I'm not sure many people saw this coming. Clipping the net there, Bei Wen Tung. Sometimes it just takes a little while two, to get used to your opponent. Because you've not seen anything of them, you've not played them before. Unfancied one at that as well, but oh, she's giving as good as she's getting right now, the youngster. Service over six two. She's Using a lot of power here, Baywin. Seven, two. And she's getting some very good returns on that. Get some on. That's better for Baywin Tuck. Service over three seven. Very well placed. 
Four, seven. Tong had to get that absolutely right. Uh, right hand, a body shot. The power game now maybe starting to have a bit more of an effect. You just contrast the record I told you about with Pitchamon with our first ever World Tour semi final for Baywood Town. This is a 31st one on the World Tour. She's reached two of them this year on the Orleans Masters and the Swiss Open. With mixed success, one win, one loss this year. Those have generally gone Pitchamon's way on that side. has been very impressive. It's a five-point lead here in this first game. Well, I was wondering whether there would be like a sort of something like a novelty factor here for Pichamon. She's had some staying power here. Now let's see what happens after the interval. That can quite often be a disruptor of momentum. It would be quite the story. We are some time away from that. But the fact that this 16-year-old is already six points clear of a top 20 player is something. That's more like it from Tan. That was a run of uh, three points that stopped here yeah, for Pichamona Patiput. That's found its mark. That's nicely done. Eight, so the playing age of five, Pichamon, trained by her father. She's get down well, doesn't she, Pichamon? Corner, well placed. Ready to play. 
Well, is she coming to the fore now, Baywin? Tom. Four two, she leads since the interval. Can okay, we look at uh, Baywin Tong's record against Thai players? In semi-finals before, she's faced two Thai players. One of them being Ratchinok Intanon. Very well placed. This is much, much better from Tuck. And I just wonder now, after this run of points, whether that is starting to now tell on the youngster. Three in a row for Tang. Well, it's been a very nice comeback here. Remember the lead was six points at one stage. Well, it's been an excellent return here for Tang here, who's now got four in a row. Oh, lovely shot. So hard to do. The angle was acute. It was low down. And she did tremendously well here. Tom. Have another look here. Look how low that was. That is a lot of great wrist work. Timing. So good. So this is number two, one. Oh. So this is power too much, and it's the first time that 30, 30. she has taken the lead here. And you've got to give a lot of credit to Baywin. Tung. Five points in a row. She was trailing by six. It's been a, a very, very good fight back here. She's had to work extremely hard. She's played Ratchinok Intanon before. That's the only other two ties that she's played. That was a Thailand Open 2017. She lost that. Played just so few matches at this level overall, but uh, if you include international series level, she's got a tremendous record. About 80% win rate, 83 wins out of 104 matches. As I said, not many on the world tour. She's won 10 out of 17 this year. This is tight, isn't it? This one for Bei Wen Tung. She's won 302 out of 469 matches in her career. That's about a 64% win rate. 20 out of 32 this year alone. 63% overall. So about her career average. She's maintained that. wasn't it from top so her first appearance on the world tour pitchamon was at the vietnam open last year in september 
then didn't start, didn't play again in, until the Thailand Masters. She only got to the second round, lost to another United States player. Oh, sorry, beat the United States player in the first round. Lauren Lam. That played in the China Masters, which is a Super 100, and then Thailand Open recently. It was to Carolina Marin in two, but took her to 17 in the first. So you know the quality that she's got. And here, she's already scored 16 against Bei Wen Zhang. Marin, world number six, former world and Olympic champion. She took to 17 in the first. And it's just out. Very encouraging results for her, as we said. It's not all going Tung Bay Wen's way. Let's see what she was just trying to do there. So despite the three game points, she saved one pitcher one. She doesn't seem perturbed. I have to say, all the pressure is on Bay One. It's on Bay One. Draws it to the net and then goes right to the back of the court. Tung Mei Wen has won this first game, but boy, was she pushed all the way by Pitchamon, who will look back at the fact that at one stage she was leading by six. She was 12 6. So since the interval, it was much, much better by Tung. 15 7, she outscored her opponent since the interval. So Pitamon's start was really good, wasn't it? Bei Wen Tung, I think, had to use all her experience to figure her opponent out. But you'd have to say, as I said, it was 15-7 from the uh, interval. So the momentum clearly shifting her way. 
And there's that you know, drift, I think, from uh, behind Pitchamon. No. Is having the kind of start that uh, Pitchamon had earlier. Just look at the, um, the end of that first game. He's now won the last five points in a row, going back to the last game, but she really did look very good. Massive gap. But that seven point run was, was hugely important for a. Uh, she was uh, trailing at the interval. Excellent from Tung now. Six, one. Yeah, was that, she was 9-13 down when she embarked upon that big seven-point run that just changed the whole thing, didn't it? I think it is worth a, a challenge. It's probably a good shout, isn't it? Ah, oh, she's right. It clips the line, it's tight, but she is correct. Pitch them on. Needed that badly. things will give her a boost and out directly on the serve and that is the drift Seven, be careful Seven, three. especially with those sort of serves Careful with this lead. Just running away from her. She had another good run here, five Four. points. Hey. It's five love, remember? So it's 4 3 to pitch him on in the last few minutes. That's well placed. Well, Bay one. Tour. It does include, by the way, just to be clear, on the uh, Grand Prix level as well. One things like the Vietnam Open, the US Open, the Brazil Open, Dutch Open, US Grand Prix, Dutch Open a couple more times. So that's why that was the old Grand Prix system. 
So it is a reversal of fortune here for Pichamon. Tong Bei Wen was trailing 6 11 in the first game. She now leads 11 6 here in the second game, having taken that first game 21 18. Again, looking tough, isn't it, for Pitchamon now? The lead is six. Seven, three. And playing against the uh, against a Pan American Seven, champion from 2021. Six. As I said, he was former top ten in the world. Eight. She still scored 18 against her the first game. Seven. Scored 17 against Marin recently. So she has got that talent, hasn't she? Nine. Well, that's one I think she'll feel that she should have put away. A little bit of a cheap point to give away, perhaps. Eight, Again, one that she probably feels she should have got over. She got there, didn't she? She'll be hitting it right at the base of a racket as well. So this is the biggest lead now that Tsung has had. Seven clear of her opponent. Quick to the net there, Tung. Ooh, was that sliding out? I think that clipped the line, perhaps. Again, something that Pitchamon desperately needs here to go her way. Yeah, again it has. Yeah, I thought it did. Six 
points the lead. Again, one of those hard to tell, isn't it? Sliding. I think uh, Tang Bei Wen's got that right. Yeah, it's inside the line, I think. But it, it's it's tough, isn't it, for the players? We see it in a split second. We're seeing it on uh, slow mo replay. Uh, well, it was inside. It was on the line in the end, but that one does not go. Hit him on his way. Challenge left. Good power from uh, Pitcham. We haven't seen that too much of that from her. She's there's more of the subtle strokes, the clever shots. Nice to change it up a bit. A good little run here for the tie. I think this is the best run in this uh, second game. Three in a row. Make that four. been in a while. That's good. She's hanging in there just about. Four is the lead. And four is what Tung needs to win this. Sort of a striking distance. Normally that's about two to three points. Pachamon is just beyond that four. But it is now or never time for her to stay in this match. I think that's out. She's not going to waste a challenge on that. Yeah, that is. Starting to get a bit nervy now, perhaps. Pichamon's outscoring her. Nine, seven. Since the interval. Tung is almost there. Can she see it through? She has now got five game points here. They went up. Five 
five match yeah. points. It's settled very quickly, but I tell you what, she's had to play an opponent half her age. An upstart who's really created some waves here. Tongue Wei Wan having to use all her experience when she was trailing in that first game. It looked like it could be a bit of a fairy tale story when her opponent was leading quite substantially by six. She dug deep, used her experience and came through, but do not forget that name, Pitch Up On A Putney Put. She loses to Bei Wan Tung, the 13th from America. 21-18, 21-15, she's done it in 34 minutes. Well, the matches are coming thick and pretty fast at the moment. Both these first two matches here at the Taipei Open semi-final day here, 2023, have been finished in 34 minutes. What does the men's singles hold for us? Back to Chinese Taipei representation here. Su Liyang is up against Hong Kong China's Angus Ngkalong.